Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, we learned about what is statistics, type of data and levels of measurements with Python coding. In this video, we learn about central tendency and asymmetry with Python coding. If you like to know more about any technologies related to data analysis and data science, please like, comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you. I will provide all the information in below description section. So today, now we will understand what is central tendency and asymmetry. What is central tendency? In statistics, a central tendency is a central or typical value for a probability distribution. Like we have the data in a distributed format and it is a central value. Okay. Purpose of central tendency. It is a single value which is the representative of an entire distributed data. Okay. So there are three main measures in central tendency. One mean, median and mode. What is mean? Mean is mostly used for measuring central tendency. It is a simple average of whole data set and their formula is in this way x1 plus x2 plus x3 2 plus xn and divided by n. Okay, So these, these are all, all my data points which are divided by the number of data points. Okay, This is the total number of sample data. Now for population data, in our last course we understand what is population data. It is denoted as mu and for sample data is denoted as x bar. Now here is the point, mean is easily affected by outliers. We will move on and we will understand about this. Let us understand the example of mean. Okay? So I have some book prices in Calcutta also in Patna. When I calculate this book price in uh, Kolkata for mean I am getting 560 and for Patna it is 230. So here we can observe mean for Kolkata is near to double of mean in Patna. Okay? After analyzing the data set we can find out for Kolkata there is one outlier data. We can observe after 300, jump to 2000. Conclusion is mean is not a definite solution for such kind of a scenario. So, in this context, median is introduced. Now, let us understand median definition. What is median? The median is the midpoint of the ordered data set. So, it is not affected by the outliers. Now, in an ordered data set, the median is the number at positions n plus 1 divided by 2. So what is n? n is the number of observations. Okay. So in this position it is not a whole number then the median is the simple average of the two numbers at positions closest to the calculated value. Okay. Let us understand median with some example. We are considering the same data set now, when I am calculating median, I am getting 200 and 245. If we consider the above data set, let us find out the median. So, before finding out median, data should be in the ordered way. Okay, Like it should be 100, 200 like this. Conclusion is, here we can observe median is not affected by the outliers like we have the outlier value 2000 but median is not affected because mean was a different value and median is 200 so it's almost near to this partner variable now let's understand what is mode in a data set the mode is the value which occurs most often okay a data set can have zero mode one or multiple modes normally the mode is calculated by finding the value with highest frequency. So let us understand with some example. Let us understand with some example what is mode. If we consider the same data set, we can find out we have 200 is 2 times. So mode is 200. 
But if we consider in the partners data bit, we can find out there is no repetitive number. Okay. So here mode will be zero. First, I'm running all the packages. After that, I'm creating a data frame. You can observe it's a single date column value. We have annual income. It's a numerical value. Now, I am calculating mean for this data set. Let us understand about the median. Here is the median value. Now, mode. Okay. So now, we will understand more on the different section. So finally, there are certain individuals that are earn much more than others. So they are outliers, okay? And usually, whenever we have research on income, we use the median income instead of mean income, okay? Let's move on to the slide. So now we will understand about asymmetry. So in asymmetry, there is measure is skewness. What is skewness? Skewness is a measure of asymmetry and it indicates the observations in a data set are concentrated on which side okay so this is our one graph okay this, these are all the data set it's distributed if we calculate here we can find out mean is here and median is here okay so this is a random graph so this above graph has right skewness right side that means positive it means that the outliers are to the right so it means long tail to the right. This is the long tail to the right. Now left skewness means that outliers are to the left. If the it is if the graph is just opposite, this long tail is in this side, then it will be negative skewness. Okay. Now in skewness, the formula is like this. Normally, uh, in we can calculate skewness using different software. Now we will move on to the Python code. Now we are in the Python code. Let us run one data frame for skewness. Okay. So I have created first the data frame the skewness. So this is a plot. Okay, so kind of density plot. So in Python, it's called as density. So we can find out. If in this graph, you can find out this right skewness we have and we have some little bit left skewness also. So I have mentioned all the point here. So friends, in my next video, I will talk about different variability measures. Okay, so if you like this video, Please like, comment and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos with more technologies. Keep learning, enjoy learning. Thank you.